Welcome back, everyone. Gina is here today. Let's count the 2023 new buzzword in Chinese. 流行语 These are some slangs that make you sound native. Number one, 烟火气 literally means smoke goes out of the chimney when people cooking. It also refers to you know the trivialities of the daily life, a kind of mundane and blessed feeling. Um. For example, after a long day at work, the bustle and hustle at the market shows you some 烟火气 And compared to the minimalist decor, I think my home comes with more 烟火气 something that makes you feel warm as a family. Number two, 显眼包显眼 means conspicuous and attention grabbing. Often used to describe someone with a distinct appearance or personality traits. Originally, there might be a negative connotation to the term, but nowadays it can be used positively to praise someone for standing out in a lively and engaging manner. Because obviously, the world today is praising and encouraging people who are not afraid to be different. And、the term can be also applied to objects and things that stand out. For example, those amusing artifacts in the museum can also be referred to as 显眼包 Number three, 搭子 It originally referred to a partner in Chinese dialect, specifically someone who you play mahjong or poker with. And since this year, it has expanded to refer to any companion participating in an activity together. They might not be as close as friends, and they come together due to some shared similarities or common interests. For example, I have a 跑步搭子 Number four, 多巴胺 This is an exotic word from English, dopamine. You know the chemical substance that is crucial to human health and happiness. According to the color psychology, bright and vivid colors can make one produce more dopamine and make you feel happy. So in 2023, 多巴胺穿搭 dopamine outfits became very popular. An extended meaning of the happiness factor, from visible colors to invisible abstract concepts. For example, I have a 多巴胺妈妈 and I think that's the reason why I prefer to be a 多巴胺老师 in my class. Those are some of the buzzwords in 2023. Use them in your Chinese spoken practice, and I will see you next time. Bye.